Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Sunday and we're checking in on some crops. Uh, this is the first patch of sweet corn that we planted. And I was going to show you something. I haven't been down here in it in several days. But I was going to uh, incredibly uneven stand of corn. Uh, and I believe it was due to soil temperature more than anything else. Uh, I mean, we got corn that's this tall. And we got corn that's that tall. Uh, so, it's not the prettiest patch of corn I've ever grown. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's part of it. Uh, it'll be okay you know we'll uh, it'll just stretch out the harvest a little bit longer than I'd like but it uh, it's starting to grow we also starting to get a few weeds in it uh, in that section the rest of it's pretty clean but uh, anyhow I think it was due to cold weather the soil temperature being not ideal and uh, I believe that's more than anything what happened here. But what we'll do, you know, we'll let it go and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. There's enough of a stand of the bigger corn that it, I couldn't, I was kind of in a tight spot. I couldn't go back and disc it up and replant it. So uh, we'll just have to, have to let it come on and see what happens. But we'll, uh, we'll ride out and look at the other two rounds of plant other two plantings and compare them uh, to what we've got here but uh, this corn once it reaches this stage it really starts growing we may hit it with some nitrogen we may not I don't know uh, it gets a shower of rain on it and this corn will jump so uh, but anyhow that's uh, just kind of updating you on the crops and we'll show you the bad ones along with the good ones there's no uh, farming's farming there's no hiding For some reason I got weeds over here and no weeds over there so oh well been one of those years but you can see very very uneven and uh, but it'll be what it'll be it's in the ground It'll reduce our yields quite a bit, but, you know, if it's profitable, we'll take it. And if it ain't, we'll have to take it. There's nothing we can do about it. So let's go check on the others. Okay, this is round two of the sweet corn plant. And then you can see how much more even this, uh, this plant is. Now, it was cold the day I planted this, but it... Uh, uh, it warmed up soil temperature warmed right up so uh, you know it it came along a lot better so but yeah we got a few weeds we're gonna have to address we've talked about that in the past people ask a lot of times what you can spray of course you know you need to check with your local your state but in North Carolina, you know, 2,4-D, we can go back with atrazine depending on our bicep, depending on how much we put down it, planting. Uh, but for the most part, this field looks pretty good. And it's been planted for uh, 15 days. So it's reaching that stage where it'll start to jump now. And once again, you know, and... <laughs> we do have bird issues ravens and crows and pigeons and stuff pull pull it up now this corn has been planted eight days and if you can see it'll be even better stand than that more than likely as far as even just looking at it from here it looks yes it looks a lot better than even that up there uh, so 
you know, that's that's uh, what we're looking for. And you can see, we got a little, right here's one coming up that uh, a little later, and might have missed one here. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you can see, it's all pretty even. So, that's why you plant corn when the soil temp's where it's supposed to be. But, uh, so we've got, you know, now that it's starting to come up, it'll really start to push up and grow. But, uh, that looks good. That looks good. This looks better. And you can tell, uh, just by looking at a patch... You know, occasionally planting it early, you'll get lucky. You'll get lucky and it'll, uh, you'll get that uh, couple of warm days for germination. And that's what happens is seed don't germinate evenly. And if the soil temperature is borderline 65 degrees and you've got a quarter inch variance in the plant depth, it'll show up on you stand so uh, as the temperature is colder the planting depth will show you know it will show more because maybe 65 degrees at an inch and maybe 60 degrees at an inch and a half so any seed put an inch and a half may sit there a day or two longer before it germinates whereas when I planted this it was probably 65 degrees to three inches deep so anywhere in that planting zone that they're all going to germinate about the same time it may take them a little longer to push through but uh, you know you're still going to get that germination so that's key <clears throat> but we are going to have to address the weeds in this this looks good it's uh it's coming on so uh yes corn should be you know mid to late july that out there should be mid to early july august and then of course the rest of it will be september so as far as harvest so july and august is when we really want to harvest as much corn as we can you know it's pushing it here we uh, we're going to be a little later because we're later getting it in uh some years of course you know weather turns warm quicker ground warms up quicker you can get it in the ground quicker you can get it harvested quicker but that's just an update on the corn of course the watermelons and cantaloupes are not up they've just been planted a couple of days it takes them a while longer to germinate and that soil temperature has got to be on up there for them of course it's 80 something right now so you know we're uh, we're getting that uh but yeah we're gonna come in here and spray back over top of this with some kind of herbicide to take care of these weeds and we'll uh, get that crop coming on if you like what we're doing I mean like I said we will probably do a live stream before too terribly long but if you like what we're doing please subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video uh, see a video you like give it a thumbs up if you have a question or a comment please do so I've been trying to reply to all the comments on Sunday so uh, if you have a question or whatever if I see it I'll try to respond to it a little quicker but uh, you know that's uh, I do the best I can but uh, thanks to everyone for taking busy time out of your busy day to watch what we're doing and we'll talk to you later bye